So hey guys, this is the video where we explain um, and give some tips about how to laminate an agave surfboard. It's like uh, the normal common process as you do. I just give you some tips right now for our technique to laminate with epoxy because yeah, the most guys know how to laminate with the polyester resin, but with the epoxy, there are some tips, um, especially for saving uh, the material and use just the right amount of epoxy that you are able to reduce the price for the resin because uh, on polyester resin, the most guys laminate with a uh, yeah I don't know four to six kilos of resin in a board like this and here with epoxy I'm using in total like three and a half to four kilograms maximum and yeah that's the the right amount for the whole board so because we have the time on epoxy we are able to use less resin and yeah uh, we don't need to rush like on polyester resin so we can use less and because it's more expensive um, it just makes sense to yeah really save the resin and not just mm, float it to the bottom and get it to waste so yeah this is how we laminate the logos in. This is printed on a really thin, um, yeah, paper fiber um, paper um, that laminates really, really good. It gets well connected and yeah, it's the right. So first you try to get all the epoxy almost all the epoxy like 95% or 90% of the epoxy straight on the board and you leave a little bit in your mixing cup so this one is a kind of big salad bowl that's really good because the bubbles can can float off or go off or um, yeah degrees from this bowl pretty nice um, try to spread the epoxy with not too much pressure over the whole board and yeah from the technique here it's almost the same like in a waterfall technique but before the waterfall really starts to tr to drip on the bottom you um, l you flip the lap on top of the board and this little round edge that the fiber uh, produce here now that little um, turn in the in the fiber that little um, pocket we create here when we flip the fiber on top of the board that pocket will just um, get floated by the epoxy so all the epoxy doesn't go to the bottom and you need way less as in the waterfall technique so that's the that's the lap technique and yeah you just need a bit more time to 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 lap the fiber on top and then back down again but in the end you save so much resin and resin is expensive as everyone knows we got really good prices on our website for the resin but anyway still there we don't need to have all the resin just in on the bottom so yeah that's the technique of how to float the lab really nice so i just push it push this little pocket that we created down so the little lake uh, of epoxy in that in that fiber pocket just floats it really nice um, because if you do this waterfall it will just run down on the fiber and sometimes not really float the fiber so yeah that's that's the technique just push it down a bit you can wrap it around the rails like push it under the apex point and it will get floated even more 
and now it's time to use the rest of the epoxy as you can see I've used every single drop on the board it's really like the perfect amount on a surfboard like this a 6.6 six performance shortboard um, I used uh, like almost 300 uh, 300 resin and 150 hardener so it's 450 grams in total for the lamination and yeah it's almost a half as the most guys mix for with the polyester resin and yeah with this technique you get flow the fiber really nice try to flip it now over really gentle you try to not um, squeeze it or push it too much so the trick is really to yeah be sensitive with the fiber um, but anyway we got the time on epoxy we got 20 minutes of working time so you have 20 minutes the total video here is 12 minutes so yeah I just mix it maybe two minutes before two to three minutes was the mixing time we will also have a little video of how to mix epoxy right there are three four steps and tips that you need to know and then your epoxy lamination goes really well or as well the hot cold um, yeah so now you try to push the external epoxy from the deck on the lap so all the epoxy you have on the board loads as well here on the on the lap and around the rails this one is a free free lap ta um, lamination so we will not sand the lap afterwards we will just flip the board do the top ceiling and do the, the second lamination on the same day to have a better bond like after four hours we can flip the board and without sanding the lap we can just start the next uh, ceiling coat on it so as you as you do normally yeah do the free lap fiber around the rails um, yeah there are several tips that you can use but in the end it's like uh, yeah the normal standard process from here on it's just uh, the little tip of flipping the fiber on top of the board to reduce the waterfall floating epoxy and yeah save a bit of uh, epoxy in the end um, yeah so with the nose and the tail as you know you can push the fiber in the right position that it's like perfectly a good fiber uh, moves perfectly as well and even if you have if you even if you stretch out the fiber from the this lap technique it still works in the nose and the tail and it's not too complicated to yeah to squeeze it right and super tight on mm. for the fin plugs and bubbles in the fin plugs I'm um, I try to to not wait too long um, to just push one time with a squeegee on the plug so all the bubbles can disappear um, as I mentioned before as well in the ceiling video we have special squeegees they are made in Germany uh, they are not coming from anywhere else from the world from China or something like this as the normal ones so this one is made in Germany made in Europe it's really durable it's slightly more stiff as the 3M one that everyone is using but here are already rounded edges in and it is in my case the best squeegee you can have because it's yeah not too soft we have a super soft one as well for the rails where you want to have this super bending but yeah you can you can bend it almost as the other one and if you warm it up it gets bended as crazy as the 3m as well but 
yeah I really like this one and this little tip of lifting the board I just got from the guys here in the workshop normally I was always looking under the board and almost broke my back so this is a really nice tip to lift the board from your stance and yeah give your back a little a little break um, and yeah so just go over the whole board get all the external epoxy spots or lakes off uh, all the dripping noses of epoxy or dripping parts or fibers that standing off you try to push them against the blank and yeah give a little view on pinholes as well while you're laminating you can see the board if there is any spot that the ceiling doesn't hit so if there is any bubble coming up and off as you know maybe from wooden stringers or foam or even on on some foam parts you have a uh, little little bubbles inside on different foams so yeah try to avoid pinholes or little little bubbles in the lamination or under the lamination um, if you did the ceiling right there should be no issue and the board is in the glassing room so since the ceiling so there is not a, a moving temperature so there should be not a moving epoxy or creating bubbles or pinholes so yeah leave the leave the the board in the glassing room for the ceiling and the lamination steps anyway it is a really nice fast lamination if you start with a ceiling after this you do one hour later the lamination as soon the ceiling starts to stick and cannot move anymore and like I like I said like four hours later you can flip the board without sending the lap so it's one step less and you just continue with the ceiling on top and one hour later the lamination around the rails again free lap or with the tape so you can tape it after like five hours of drying the bottom lamination and then yeah you get the board wrapped in one day with epoxy it's the best bond you can get on epoxy because it cures fully when it's laminated and yeah, that's it.